With Halloween approaching, I remembered the challenge that Mumbo did last year to make spooky piston doors. I thought I would give it a go and this is what I came up with. As you can see, it's a 3x3 pumpkin door. Now, to be completely transparent with this, I am using a mod, specifically the Redstone++ Plus Plus mod. This is just so I can push these suspensors that are responsible for placing the pumpkins. Without this, this door is impossible. The actual placing of the pumpkins is completely possible within Vanilla Minecraft, and it works like this. When you have a dispenser with pumpkins in it, next to a couple of snow blocks, it can be used to spawn a snow golem. But for some reason, it doesn't just check for um, snow blocks in this configuration, but many others too, such as this one. In this configuration, the snow blocks cannot spawn a snow golem, but the pumpkin is still placed, effectively just placing the block. So I take advantage of this in this door by pushing dispensers into the floor and snow into the ceiling. The dispensers are then powered by these observers in, that are slid into the ceiling as well. So when this double extender happens, we'll get pumpkins in this top row because the observers will power them. In the second row, the, um, the observers will power the pumpkins, budding the dispensers that are moved into the bud, so aut automatically updated. And then to get the bottom row, these are powered from these observers. But at this point, the snow blocks are actually too, too high up. So we see here, this works in placing one, and this works. But up here, this will no longer be able to place the pumpkins, so we have to push the snow blocks down, which we do with these pistons here. So let's just check the door closing again. You see them pushing up. And if I do that from the other side, you'll be able to see the um, snow blocks being pushed around. Oops. Get pushed down so they can activate that one, and they get pushed, pulled back up and pushed back across. The opening is quite a bit easier. We just power the double extender again, which breaks the bottom two rows of pumpkins. Um, and then to get rid of the top row, we have this double extender, which gets rid of these two and this single extender to get rid of this one. The reason why this is a, a weird sort of double extender thing that's offset into the wall is because these, these observers would otherwise um, break this pumpkin when they're pushed back over in the end of the closing. Now, um, one thing, one other thing about this is I've got the do tile drops game, game rule set to false because if it's set to true, then the pumpkin items when destroyed go absolutely everywhere. But in theory, these could be collected with hopper minecarts and reused. There are hoppers going into the dispensers here and here, and they're joined by minecarts on top. That means with this single hopper, or on the other side, just there, you can actually refill all of the dispensers. So you see if I put a few pumpkins in here, they will all enter the system. You could then join this to a farm or something, but even without refilling, without refilling it, you can use the door nearly 500 times. Now, since this door is built in modded and is the only one of its type, the size isn't too important, but it's 15 long, two wide and nine tall for a total of 270 blocks, which I think is actually pretty small. If anyone wants to have a go at improving it though, feel free, I'd be curious to see the results. Also, this was built in 1.12.2, since that is the most recent version of this mod. And also the pumpkin placing seems to be more flexible in these recent ver than in recent versions. One last thing, this is my first full build using observers, so I apologize if the redstone is a little messy. Anyway, so I think that's about everything there is to say about this door, so I'll just throw a couple of extra shots of the door working and that'll be all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.